ano, siguro, um, he, we understand each other a lot and we just very chill at home. Music moments. Um, yeah, uh, so I have a new song for the movie Mystified. It's called Simula. And this time around, I tried to write in Filipino. Tos, ano, actually, punong Horado Ray Valera who kept saying, you have to write in Filipino. And it's not just him, it's also Ryan Bang. He always lectures me also that has, you have to come out with a song. Hmm, ganun si Ryan Bang? Si Ryan is very <laughs> much... <laughs> lecture? Lecture, lecture. Di ba palagi kong may nag-aaway na marang ganun? Lagi niya ako sinasabi, Ate Karil, yung kanta mo, dapat takaro. Tsaka parang, makita. Ganun ba? Kaya gumawa pa ako ng isa pang version na, kasi yung isa is actually with Ted, Mark, Armo, and Gosh. So they played, and it was like an anthem. Yung parang ganun, very like driven, pang action, ganyan. So gumawa ako ng version upon the advice of Ryan Bang. <laughs> Hindi naman niya sinabi na gawa ka ng isa pang version, pero, pero piano. Pero yun yung ginawa mo. Uh-uh. Very sa malumanay. Sa Mystified. Ah, mga ano yun. Yes, it's called Simula. The one with them is already out. It's on Spotify already. Okay. So, how excited are you? Yes. Oo. They came from a flight tapos diretso lang sa studio. So, gano'ng kaka-excited naman sa Mystified? Sa Mystified? Um, yun nga eh. As you always says, you have to be very creative. Ganyan-ganyan. So, we created a movie. So, eto na nga. Producer na din yung role. I guess, practice na din yung nagpo- produce ka ng music. Tapos ngayon, movie, na. uh, movie naman. Mas mahirap siya siyempre kasi oh my god, ang dami nangyayari. But, um, we're so, um, ano ba, parang parang driven by siguro a lot of things like, kunwari, yung fans ng Encantadia, andun pa rin sila. So, every time nagpo-post kami, parang wow, daming like, ha, ano yan, para kailangan natin gumawa. So, um, inspired na andito na rin yung opportunity na andito na tayo sa panahon na hindi na tayo pwedeng rant lang ng rant na ba't ganyan yung mga movies, ito lang pwede ka na kasing gumawa kasi ang dami ng opportunity so it, yeah, so me and um, Isa kasi we've been iFlix partners since the beginning when people were still saying who's gonna stream content and in a third world country na hindi naman lahat naka cellphone okay. yun yung time na una kami nag-invest so ngayon parang equal opportunity for paano everyone paano yun sorry lang paano kayo naging partner before pa uh, a long time ago nag-present sila sa amin kasi si Ben yung husband ni Isa is really into apps and ako naman yung course ko sa college kasi is BS management major in communications technology management comtech so it's more like it, we really were always looking for new technology. Parang always thinking about so, mga, that. Nung bago-bago pa lang yung iFlix niyan. Ha? Yes, and apps. Bago pa lang yung apps mm. nun. So parang walang naniniwala na parang talaga. Sino magsistream mo lang ang cellphone lahat ng tao? Eh, hello, fast forward to 2019. Oh, yeah, so I, I'm just very excited kasi this will open um, siguro the gateway kasi it's gonna allow everyone to be a content maker. So that's SVOD, di ba? So subscription video on demand, ganyan. So nag na. And all over the world, there's just so much content and they want it to be very local. Di ba? I mean, hello, I watch K-dramas, but because I want to know how Koreans live their lives. And they're not even speaking in English much. It's not like they do that. Um, I also watch a lot of Malaysian Indonesian. Kasi nasanay na ako na may subtitles. So ngayon, nawi-weirdan na ako. <laughs> Wala. So I try to see what, what everyone's doing in the region. And um, 